How's it going, everybody? Uh, I want to cook cauliflower steak. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's been cooking this for a while. And the last one he uploaded, I think, back in 2022. I'm forgetting how to read them, uh, how to speak numbers again. But oh well, we'll figure this out as, as we go. I'm missing all the ingredients. I don't have the whole entire full ingredients, but I have enough of it. I'm just going to make it work. Now, this burner is so slow be patient with me it will help me out to actually buy something better than this if you guys like subscribe and tell me what to cook next just surprise me uh i'm running out of ideas sometimes so you guys just comment it will go a long way just let me know in the comment what to cook next now from what i can tell you want a very very thick curly flour i think this is about an inch so this should work Some salt. I know this is early, but it should be okay. Black pepper. I know Grand Ramsey not gonna approve of this, but I'm gonna put some MSG to make it actually taste a lot better. I don't want it to be too salty. Sorry, Gordon Ramsey. But this is my Uncle Roger. Alright. Ooh, yo. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm not Vietnamese, but my roommate is. So qualify. Gotta grab some garlic. Now for some onions. I don't have a chocolate, so I'm really sorry again. Really, really sorry. This should be for the sauce. I have no idea what kind of sauce I'm gonna make, but. I'm gonna go on the fly and just create one. Obviously we need olive oil. Just enough until the onion is fully covered. I'm gonna add some sriracha. This is a little unusual, but I'm gonna just enough of it. Make the taste actually pop. Let's see what I have here. Some good old honey. but not too much as well. I should do it. Some paprika. Some garlic, black pepper, and this, is, this is, makes it very unique. Soy sauce. But do not overdo it because this is already salty. All right, I should do it. I wanted to add lemon, but I have no lemon. So I'm gonna go for apple cider vinegar. It's something citrusy and it's the same thing. Don't do what I do. Do what, Go do what Golden Ramsey said instead. All right, I'm gonna add some over here as well. To do it now we're gonna go with oregano go oregano go oregano go oregano oregano oh my god fumble with the words all right we're gonna need a lot here Screw up a show. Ah. I'm losing all my strength. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right back. Before that, let's see how well this thing is doing. It's almost cooked. Alright, let's cover that. Lower the heat. Add some butter.
never experienced that before. What an embarrassment. Too much olive oil and butter. <laughs> Soft. <laughs> sauce mm. it's getting better I'm gonna add some MSG as well should give it to make the flavor pop and some sea salt should be ready. Some parsley to the s or secret sauce that I just made up out of made up made it up out of thin air. It's a phrase. One last ingredient is gonna make sure it pops even further. This is dry peanut butter, and I'm just gonna add one scoop, and the sauce should thicken. Give you the Asian cuisine of uh, peanut on top of some certain soups. Makes it very, very flavorful. Now stir it slowly. It's gonna mix very, very slow. And now we have some protein in here. Maybe around 15 gram of protein. Well, if you eat the whole thing, but I highly doubt you're gonna eat the whole thing. Mmm. Now it's tastier. That was the taste I was missing. All right, don't judge me on this. This is my first time ever. Obviously, muskets need a bit more work. Got a long way to go. Mm. It's ready. Ooh, that was hot. Woohoo! A little flour. Now we bring out the sauce with the garlic. And a specialty sauce. Some cilantro.
Bon Appetit. Let's see why people actually eat this. This is actually tasty. Very soft. But it's supposed to be softer, softer. Not bad for first try. Sorry, Ramsey. I know I can do it better. Pretty nice on me. Maybe one day. But not yet. <laughs> I think you should know by now. <laughs> if you guys like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And if you want me to cook something, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. I'll be happy to actually cook it or at least give it a try to cook it. Take care, guys. Until next time.